Remember, I just don't know about that. Thank you, Alex. Well, in the early 1900s, a physician got the help of an architect named Alexander Blair III to build his home. Blair has quite a resume. He was the architect for the Grand Opera House in Macon and the famous Crisco House Mansion on College Street. Well, as Suzanne Lawler shows you, the project on Holt Avenue turned into quite a historic place. We've met so many people that actually got married here or attended mm -hmm. something here yeah. or learned how to swim here or learned CPR. The home that housed the Red Cross for decades went on the market in 2019. Jay and Karen Palmer moved from New York to scoop it up. It's built in 1908 uh, by Thomas Baker, a wealthy physician. Eight original mantles are here and each one is distinct and beautiful and probably meant for somebody that he loved. It retains all of its uh, layout really of a single family residence. There is a second and third floor with this winding showcase of a staircase leading to each level. We're looking right at the original fountain and it still um, has part of the original seahorse. In 1945, the Red Cross moved in on Holt Avenue. It was a staple in Macon. But they helped people. They were a place, a beacon of light. This was the Red Cross house for 75 years, so the Palmers say it's not uncommon for folks to knock on their door at night, maybe needing a little help. Here we try to help them if we can or redirect them to the Red Cross. So it's just, it's just this home that's been a place for people to come to and feel very comfortable. It's, it's, you'd think it would be pretentious, but it's not. It's a, such a welcoming place. A welcoming place because now it's a wedding venue. Jay shoots the photos and plays the music. Karen officiates and coordinates all the details. Every time I share the story, I can't believe I'm in this house. Karen and Jay call it Chanticleer, but many still lovingly know it as the Red Cross House. The Palmers are fine with that because inside these walls, decked out with detailed crown molding in the original floors, you'll find love. Love of the home, love for anyone that comes through the doors, and love for the history of the property. And we're trying to honor the house by taking good care of it and restoring where we can and honoring what the house is. And yeah, we're definitely committed to being good stewards of the house. Yeah. Suzanne Lawler, 13 WMAZ News. Well, the Palmer say descendants of Thomas Baker did knock on the door one day. Jay and Karen showed them around and the guests were surprised. It's not white anymore. Well, if you'd like to spend the night at the Chantelier or book a micro wedding, we will put a link inside the story on 13WMAZ.com. Plus, we have added a lot of web extras to the story. Find extra video and pictures inside this amazing house.